So please write it and then one by one I'm going to explain it. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> now, first of all, I'm going to explain mixture. See what is mixture. When two or more substances, when two or more substances combine with each other in any proportion, combine with each other in any proportion, in any proportion, that is called mixture. See what is important in this. If you are going to add salt plus water, it will be salt solution. Salt plus water, H2 is the formula of water. So it will be salt solution. So there are two substances or components that you are mixing. The first one is salt and the second salt is mixed in water. So it gives us salt solution. So basically what is this solution, salt solution? Always remember that in a mixture, you can mix up in any ratio. You can mix up in any ratio, whatever is your choice. And one more important thing is that the solution that you have prepared will not be different from this, from the components. That means in this solution part, in this solution, salt solution, we will have property or taste of this components. Are you getting my point? This is the most, uh, most important difference between mixture and compound. Whenever we, may, uh, we prepare compound, that compound will be entirely different from whatever it is coming from. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Now see, uh, the first difference in mixture and compound is that compound to prepare a compound, to make a compound, you are going to have a fixed proportion. You are going to have a fixed proportion for a particular compound. But in mixture, you are going to mix it in any proportion. The first difference. And the second difference, which is very important, is that in compound, in the formation of compound, we have the uh, we have different property of the compound uh, to uh, then the reactant. You can call it. Uh, I'm going to take an example. H2 plus O2 will combine to give just suppose H2O. Now see, this is a compound. This is a compound. And you will study in uh, in this chapter that uh, when hydrogen 2 gram and oxygen 16 gram, that means 1 is 2, whenever hydrogen and oxygen combine in the ratio 1 is to 8 by weight, by weight, it will form H2. Now, come to the point is that this is reactant. You know that from class 10, this is reactant and this is product. Yes or no? Malavika, this is reactant, this is product. Yes, sir. Now see. This H2 and O2 is supporter of combustion. Do you know what is uh, combustion? Do you know what is combustion, yes or no? Yes, sir. So basically combustion is burning of anything or burning in presence of oxygen. So H2 plus O2, but what do you tell about water? Is water supporter of combustion? Is water supporter of combustion? What is combustion? It's burning of anything in presence of air. Yeah, presence of air, that means oxygen. So is water uh, supporter of combustion? Is water 
in the support of uh, burning no sir no sir it is not supporter of combustion so what i want to tell you is that whenever we are going to prepare a product whenever we are going to pre uh, prepare a compound that compound will have entirely different properties than the substances from which we have prepared the compound are you getting my point yes sir now but when we talk about mixture mixture is you can mix up in any proportion first point and the second point you uh, when you are going to uh, make a mixture of just suppose we have uh, sugar plus water sugar plus water that will give sugar solution that will give sugar solution and when you drink it you will feel uh, when you will have sugar solution you will feel sweetness of sugar as well as water yes or no malavi ka yes, so basically in mixture we won't have any new product or new or something that uh, that is entirely different from the substances we mix but it will be the same as the substances we mix and the mixture please write it <laughs> this is mixture i just defined mixture You know, yes. Then, hmm, okay. Moving to the next part of the mixture, that is, there are of two types. The first is homogeneous mixture. The first is homogeneous mixture. So, whenever we talk about homogeneous mixture, what is homogeneous mixture? So, I'm going to define it later. First of all. See, whenever a mixture has phase equals to one, whenever a mixture has phase equals to one, that mixture is called homogeneous mixture. What does this phase means? If you are going to add sugar plus water, it will give sugar solution that you know already. When sugar will be totally dissolved, soluble, soluble in in a glass of water, will you be able to differentiate whether is uh, uh, sorry where is sugar and where, where is water it will look like same from top to bottom malavika yes. so if you are going to take uh, take another exam, uh, example if you are going to add salt in water it will give salt solution but you cannot differentiate that you cannot differentiate that whether where is salt and where is water it will look like from uh, same from top to bottom that means this solution this uh, mixture has phase equals to one that means this, this both examples are homogeneous mixture this both examples are homogeneous mixture so whenever a mixture which has phase equals to one that mixture is called homogeneous mixture so i am going to define it i can define it like uh, a mixture which is uniform throughout uniform throughout that mixture is called homogeneous mixture or you can also define it like a mixture which has phase equals to one that mixture is also called homogeneous mixture
Any yes, sir. Then, oh, very good. Now we are going to take heterogeneous picture. What is heterogeneous picture? It will be opposite of homogeneous mixture. So simple. So how you are going to define it? So basically, a mixture which has phase greater than one, phase greater than one, that mixture will be heterogeneous mixture. Just take an example. If you are going to take sand plus water, there will be a mixture. Now see, if you are going to add sand in water, sand in water, you will see after some time, sand will be settled on the bottom. It will look different and water will be like this. So there will be two phase. The water will look different than the sand particles. That's why this, this has basically phase equals to two. So this mixture is called heterogeneous mixture. Are you getting my point? Yes. Sir. If you are going to add uh, uh, in water, you are going to add uh, mustard oil, mustard oil. You are going to add petrol. So these liquids will be arranged according to their density and it will have three layers. It will have three layers, water, then the density of uh, uh, petrol and then mustard. So it will, it will have phase equals to three. That means <laughs> it is heterogeneous mixture. So we can define a mixture which is here is non-uniform. That mixture is called heterogeneous or you can also write a mixture which has phase greater than which has phase greater than one that mixture is called heterogeneous mixture. Yes, sir. Very good. Ah. Now going to introduce element. So what is element? You have seen periodic table. Have you seen periodic table? So elements are basically single type of atoms or elements are made from, or you can say single type of single atom, single atom, right? Uh, uh, like hydrogen, helium, lithium, sodium, potassium. These all are elements. Are you getting my point? Malavika, yes, have you seen periodic table? Yes, sir, yeah. up to 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you have seen periodic table. Periodic table. Yes, sir. Very good. So in that periodic table, all the elements are present there. And you know, uh, I think you have remembered from 1 to 20. That's all our periodic table, uh, element. Now, there is molecule. There is a term that is molecule. What is molecule? So basically, when same elements combine, when same elements combine, then molecule is formed. Then molecule is formed. When same elements combine, then molecule is formed. Like Hydrogen and hydrogen combine to form H2. This is molecule. Cl2 and uh, O2, N2, 
when same elements combine O3 this is ozone P4 S6 S8 when same elements combine then molecules are formed is that clear yes sir now the another term that is uh, compound what is compound when different elements combine when different elements combine then molecule is formed then molecule is formed so basically like uh, h2o water cso3 calcium carbonate and then <coughs> h2so4 these all are compound when different types of elements combine then molecule is formed and for a particular molecule we will have a fixed proportion And yes, sir. Mm, very good. Is there any doubt in this? <clears throat> Malavika, is there any doubt in this? No, sir. Yes, sir. So, Malavika, this is a trial class. So, I have to end this class now because I have uh, other classes. I'll see you soon. If you have any doubt in this chapter, you can ask me. No, sir. No doubt. Okay. Wait a minute. So I'm going to ask you a question. Which factor is responsible for the physical state of matter? <laughs> 